New tonight at 6 Monday was World Refugee Day and the U.S. continues to welcome tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugees. And tonight we want to talk with some of the families that have already moved to Western New York as refugees to find out more really about their journeys and how they're doing now. So I caught up with two families that have made Western New York their home for several years for this Two on Your Side original story. Elizabeth Pomu and Kotelo Mpiana resettled in Western New York with their families from refugee camps. Elizabeth lives in Kenmore and moved here in 2009 with her parents, two younger brothers, and grandma. I was born and raised in Thai refugee camp. Uh, my parents are, but well, my parents are originally from Burma, and they met in Thailand. They got married there, and I was born there and raised there. Elizabeth's family didn't know where they'd end up, just like Cotello's family. We wanted to be independent and trying to work hard and trying to make our family successful here in America. Cotello's family moved to Buffalo in June of 2019, about 10 years after moving to South Africa. They were refugees from Congo, and South Africa ended up not being a good fit. If we, we compare with uh, our life in South Africa and uh, in Congo, in South Africa, to get seven children to stay together uh, to find a job, it, very, it was very complicated to, to find a job in South Africa because there was, there was some kind of discrimination. The family was matched with the International Institute of Buffalo, which helped them find jobs and get the kids in school. So when we got here in America, we were nicely welcomed. Elizabeth's family was resettled by Catholic Charities, and both women were so inspired by the work those agencies did to help their families they decided to pursue careers in the resettlement agency field. And I love it, you know. So after I graduated, I got the opportunity to get a job at Journeys and had a position for case manager, which was resettling refugees, meet them at the airport, airport um, take them home, buy them their arrival meals. How does that make you feel to know that you have that kind of impact on somebody's life? Oh, uh, it, it makes you feel so amazing and, and knowing that even if we're not from the same country, they will see someone that they, they like former refugees. Cotello started working at the International Institute almost a year ago. And that was like a dream come true <laughs> to me. And so, yeah, so um, just to be able to help other people, seeing the people that, um, you know, like going through what you went through and, and, and you know exactly what they need. What advice do you give people who are just getting here? Um, well, honestly, I tell them to take it slow. And um, also I tell them to, to follow the guidance that International Institute is providing wow. because I, th I think that's the way they can, that can lead them to success. Because, you know, when you come here, you're new, you're so confused, you don't know what to do. People can come and tell you things. So if you're trying to follow everybody, you're not going to have a, a right direction. It will be difficult, mm -hmm. but it takes time and... You, you, you'll get there. Like, look me, I came here, I didn't know any English, no English at all. And here I am working as the case manager, giving back to the community. Both women are thriving. Cotello is thankful her family got to stay together. We have plans for the future, and, and I believe when you, you do it together, then you can achieve your plan as a family. And Elizabeth met her fiancé in Buffalo. He's a former refugee from Thailand, but they were in different camps. Coming to Buffalo brought them together. Yeah. If it was not a full resettlement process, right. we want to be here and have yeah. these kids. Right. <laughs> it was so great meeting both families. Both the International Institute and Journey's End are always looking for new volunteers. So if you're interested in helping out, just look for the links in the story on our website.